What is up, people? We are in the basement again of Minty Dwight looking at some glorious games. Gonna buy a massive collection, Super Nintendo, N64, Sega Genesis. You won't believe what he has in store for us this time, and somehow I think there's gonna be some surprises too. So let's dive right in. This is my third time working with Minty Dwight, and the second time going to the dungeon, his basement. Though I have a pretty good idea of what I'm getting today, I can't wait to see it for myself. And he doesn't live close to me, so my goal is to fill the van with as much stuff as I can possibly get. Okay, so everything here is stuff that was like on price charting and things that we've already kind of worked out in advance. And there's, I mean, a lot of nice stuff. It's almost all complete in box stuff. There's like 530-ish items, 50 are loose, and then everything else is in the box. Yeah, we'll, we'll just start it right here. You so might as well take a look. I mean, like this I said. Is, uh, Stinking beautiful and might give a little bit of a reason why his name is game. Minty Dwight now some ridiculous games in here R-Type 3 uh, Legend of the Mystical Ninja Super Metro. I mean everything is top tier. Lost Vikings. You got Yoshi's World on top, Battletoads, Donkey Kong Countries, Earth Defense Force, TMNT, Turtles in Time is down there, Killer Instinct, Earthworm Jim 2. We gotta find that Zelda. Kirby's Dream Course. I had this as a kid. Great game. I couldn't figure it out. I was too dumb. Try but it I, was, now. I was only like five. Yeah, that oh I get it, man. <laughs> There's a Mario RPG buried down there, Sky Guy. That looks yeah. clean too. Of course it is. That might be a condition upgrade for me right there. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> I'm hoping there's a lot more condition upgrades for my personal collection and, and we'll see when we get back to the barn. But I also want to help get these games into the hands of other collectors. These things are beautiful. I think that so many people are going to be happy getting their little pieces of this incredible collection and I'm super excited to do that. All right, what's a better game, Earthbound or Chrono Trigger? That, that's fighting words for some people out there. I can't. <laughs> not, not going that personally. For you, for you. For fun factor, it's Earthbound, but for a little bit more serious, I think it's Chrono Trigger. Political. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say Earthbound. But that's because that's the only one that I've played to com like completion. You yeah, really can't go wrong right there. Right. NES, Castlevania, totally rad is in here. That's a that's an underrated game. Okay, good to know. I do love that box. That is a great box. It's such a good it? box. It is. What about Metal Mech? I feel like you have a fact about that game. It's a mech, but you can you can jump out of the mech and okay. traverse the level as a little dude that's really tiny. Go okay. do some things and come back and jump back, back into the mech. Yeah. Oh, there's Mario's here. Let's see which print this Mario Bros is. I don't think it's what you're looking. Oh, it's all ripped up. Yeah, but you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's like 40 years old, right? So you have SNES right here, you know, Xbox. A lot of the Xbox stuff is like sealed. Oh, and then the N64, which sweet mercy. Look at these, man. Gosh, Worms Armageddon. That one actually does have the manual on it. Yeah, all right. Uh, Ogre Battle's in there, goodness gracious. StarCraft 64, this is quite rare. A lot of people might not know about this one. That's probably even more rare, but... Because this is, this was rental, rent, rental exclusive, only. yeah? Yep. Almost every box is going to have some sort of either stickers like this or tears on the box because they were all, you know, crossed off barcodes and stuff. But this is definitely one of the better boxes that I've seen for it. I so. think 90% of them out there you'll find are loose. Oh You're yeah. Just not gonna oh, yeah. So if you it's see a like a box. blockbuster sticker on it, that's actually kind of a cool thing. Yeah, I like that. I usually uh, leave those. Okay. I don't know how yeah. didn't get the sticker. Okay. Whoever, wherever franchisee didn't stick the sticker on it. Yeah. But I do have one with the sticker over a loose copy still. Do yeah. So nice. if you really want that one, <laughs> nice. you know, and uh, that also goes with uh, uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Mm -hmm. I do have another you got one, one with, that too. With, with the sticker on it because that one is minty, oh, yeah. as you would say. That wasn't retro exclusive though. No. Look at that ocarina down there with the shrink around it still. What do you think about Diddy Kong Racing? Fantastic racing. Yes. I actually prefer it over Me Mario Kart. Me too. <laughs> yeah. The open oh, world nature. Mario of Kart 64, which is a fantastic yes. game. But to me, I'm like, man, I don't know why everybody likes this so much. It's great. That one is mind blowing. That's great. Then. So we're gonna need to take the rest of this back to the barn and show you all that we got. But before we do that, Dwight has some stuff in the back that we might make some deals on as well. We've been wheeling and dealing quite a bit, uh, been here for, I don't know, a while. And we got this stack of stuff right here for 520 bucks, including these old iBooks right here, which are really cool. It's got these really awesome Nintendo watches. There's a Mario one and a Qbert one. Some old Sony cameras, some old RC stuff, lots of plug and plays in new condition. And this stuff here is everything that we're gonna put kind of into price charting, some cool pieces. The Genesis systems, both complete in box, and then also the 2600, and all sorts of games, accessories, anything in 
the gaming world is in these boxes. We're really gonna have to like get it all back to the game bar so we can see the extent of everything we got and then come up with our number for this. Um, but right now we're gonna load everything up in the van from out there and in here Hopefully there's room. and see if we even have enough room. So that's what we gotta do and we'll get back to you guys once it's loaded. All right, well, the logistics are, are strong. We got everything uh, that we've agreed upon up to this point and we still have some room left in the van. There's some crazy stuff that you guys haven't even seen on video, so we're gonna see that later, but first we gotta get back into the basement and see if we can fill the van completely. After looking at a bunch more stuff, making some additional deals with Dwight, we ended up filling the van to its absolute max. Unbelievable, this load. Stuff's falling everywhere. That's stuff on my games. <laughs> yeah, so, but that's a beautiful box. We made a play right at the end for some Sega Genesis games that he wasn't sure if he wanted to sell. We Five just... boxes worth mind you, of all Mint Genesis yeah. stuff. Like, how many games were there? A lot. Hundreds. Two, three hundred? Yeah. More? And beautiful, and we got a small box of them that he was willing to sell today, hopefully more in the future, but we gotta get back to the barn, guys because yes. this buy was ridiculous. We are back home from an unbelievable trip, guys. I'm so excited to show you everything that's in here because trust me, you have not seen even close to all of it, plus all the extras we got. <laughs> it all happened so fast. It's unbelievable. It's very timely. And we're gonna go box by box, rapid fire style, and point out the best of the best and show you guys what is literally for sale right now. If you're watching this video right when it came out on Whatnot, the vast majority of this will be up during that 12 hour auction. So let's dive in and see exactly what is here. All right, we're gonna go box by box. And let me tell you, there's gonna be a lot of stuff for a lot of collectors here, including random fun stuff like these. I don't even really know what they are. Pox? Mm -hmm. You guys, I, I guess I remember these coming out. Yeah. One of them is open, the rest are sealed. You've yeah, got like you, a complete set here. You can link these together and like battle each other or something like that. Yes. And we got a sweet deal on these actually, like five bucks a piece. Yeah. So that, that was good. And this one right here, I think we paid maybe 20 bucks for what's inside of here. I don't know what it is. It's but... at games. I can't remember exactly what it is, but we got it. We were, we were going as quickly as possible. This might be an arcade joystick. I think that's what it is. And then we made deals on like this kind of thing, which these were really cool. He had a lot of these plug and plays and he really wanted them gone. But a lot Probably of them are- what you paid for it on one side somewhere. Yeah, I did. Or not. 50. Oh, 50. 50 bucks, 50 bucks for the box, which I think is a great deal. Um, he said he was gonna donate them if we didn't want them. So uh, there's just an extra power adapter, but then you've got Frogger. Like you guys remember these coming out. These things are pretty cool. And to find them new is awesome, because usually if you find them used, the batteries are still inside and they're corroded. But that is not the case if you find them new. And it's actually quite cool, because like, look how that would display. Mm -hmm. I think as a collection piece, that's a lot cooler. You got two different kind of styles of a very similar one there. And then this is probably my favorite of this box, the Street Fighter II one, Special Champion Edition. When did this come out? 19, or 2005, 2005. So that whole box was 50 bucks. That's a great deal. We made a lot of deals similar to that for the plug and plays. But then there's like these, the analog NT minis, V2. Two of them are in here and these are brand spanking new. Now these are super special. Dwight was a big fan of these, has been from the beginning. He actually ordered the first system they ever released and I'm hoping we can get and that in the future. He, he he got it in 2013, but he ordered it a year prior, he said. He had so. to, yeah, I had to order it that long in advance and it sounds like it's custom and really awesome. These we paid like 600 bucks a piece for, oh. but I think they're north of a thousand each in, in uh, eBay value. So pretty cool stuff right here. I'm gonna leave them sealed but for Chase, now. What about the games? I know, we gotta get to the games. Let's see what's in here. Not games. I'm gonna find a box of games and we'll get right back to you guys. Well, he made us take some Toyota parts and this cool Wave Master I made an offer on. We got them pretty cheap, but we're not gonna focus on those because it's about the games, <gasps> games, games. This is a heavy box. Like monetarily or physically? Physically and monetarily. This is beautiful. Are you ready for it? Yes. Oh my. We may have shown this briefly, but I'll tell you what we haven't shown. The second layer underneath. <laughs> yeah, let's turn it around. This is unreal, man. Worms Armageddon, that's right. Glory, that is that is crazy. Um, is it complete? I, I do believe this is complete. I think Jeez. we need to check this one out. This is a very, very uncommon game, especially in the box. We have had recently, 
uh, two of these in the box without the manual. So I'm really hoping that this actually does have the manual. It does. Yes. It's probably over $100 just for the manual. Uh, we actually, this is one of the few pieces we might already have a buyer lined up for. Just about everything will be on the whatnot. This one, this one might be sold. Pointed that out, Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. You've got StarCraft 64. It's kind of unbelievable, the quality that's in here. Oh, Ogre, Ogre Battle. Battle. Smash. The condition is pretty darn good. Any game he had was just a classic. The man had exquisite taste, I, I would agree. Spider-Man. That's in great shape. Quick. Too. All of them are. Yeah, like, I mean, th these ones are like, they're not absolutely perfect, but they are, they're near mint. So I, I, I'm very, very happy with it. The, the bar that Dwight has set is higher than I think any other collector that we've ever made a deal with. The condition he kept his stuff in, he's the original owner. It was all minty. Alpal is rocking it right now. He looks good. The Caterpie sweater. <laughs> For those that haven't realized it, Chase After the Right Price, C-A-T-R-P. It's an Caterpie. acronym. Also, like the Pokemon, coincidence, yes. It was a coincidence. <laughs> Beetle Adventure Racing Bartle Tanks. You got Rocket, Robot on Wheels, Unfortunate. A... Wear on the back here, sticker. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing, stinking great game. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Yes, I just skipped over Conquer's Bad Fur Day. This is crazy. I realize that. <laughs> Resident Evil 2, Star Wars Episode One Racer, Rogue Squadron, Jet Force Gemini. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous. And this second row is what we're really gonna be focusing on now. Yeah, let's just, just move over, let's Pokemon see. Snap, Donkey Kong 64, <laughs> Excite Bike, NFL all Blitz. those. Yeah, oh, move over and then Blubber. look at these. Okay. Ooh, wait, is that? There's no shot, that's sealed. Okay, it's opened. Open, but it's got Alfredo the whole time. seal. Man, oh. holy cow. <laughs> that is... That is Minty Dwight right there. Look Comment, that. hashtag oh, Minty. Good night, that is ridiculous. Stadium oh, come two. on, Stadium 2. Oof, that might be better than mine. I think I think it is. I think we got a condition upgrade right here for the collection. Ooh. Love that. Pokemon Stadium now. It'd be hard to beat the other one Dwight sold me, because he sold me a sealed one. A sticker sealed. This has one sticker sealed, but the other one is open. But that is mint. That is beautiful. I just think and love that. What is happening right now? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Tony Hawks, Pro Skater 1 and 2. You know, he sold the sealed ones of those, too. Yes, still have those. Zelda Majora's Mask, Dr. Mario 64. Ooh. Uh, Paper Mario. Ooh. And wow, that is in good shape, dude. My brother just replayed this recently and is has also played the new Mario RPG and mm -hmm. says this is better. Really? So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, Paper Mario or Mario RPG. That might ruffle some feathers, I don't know, but I do know that people love that game too. I and started playing both. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna play Mario RPG. It's actually, I think it's getting here today. Nice. I ordered it, so. Couple Gauntlet Legends, Pac-Man, Maze Madness. It's, it's Miss Pac-Man, but. Yep, thank you. <gasps> and then Turok 1, 2, 3, Star Fox, Golden Knight, F-Zero X, South Park, and Banjo-Tooie and Kazooie. It's a ridiculous box, and that is why Mitzi Dwight is the best. All right, and as we unbox this next box, I'm gonna take a moment to acknowledge that I do love my job. Why are you giving me like a sign that you don't? <laughs> <laughs> I do, I love my job. Does that bring you back or what? To a good time where I wasn't alive. <laughs> Some better days. <laughs> I was alive um, and well. And the Super Nintendo was the first system that I ever had. It was late in the life of the console. It was uh, the Mario World bundle with two controllers. And it was 50 bucks. Brand new. Brand new in the box. So we picked it up. Mario World was one of the first games I remember like playing and beating. Stinking great game. It holds up. I don't know if we have a box Mario World in here. It's actually quite a rare box because it was usually bundled with systems. So finding the box is a very tough thing to find. Um, but we got some heavies in here, like like Space Megaforce. What the heck is that? Like That's just Toho Co. Uncommon game, especially in the box. Mine aware, but this is uh, this is quite clean. I think this is like a six hundred dollar game. What? Yeah. <laughs> this, yeah. This is. Okay. This is mega. But then you got some just like there's there's Mario World too. Yoshi's Island. That's a fun one. That is a good one. Contra 3, which is a little different for the Contra experience. It's still fun, but I prefer the, the NES version myself. Uh, Battletoads in Battle Maniacs. Gradius. This is an Atlas game. Pieces. 
But it, it, it's not worth all that much, I don't think. Earth Defense Force. So you got Space Mega Force and Earth Defense Force. And then I had this as a kid, Mickey Mania. Could not beat it. Couldn't figure it out. Um, hopefully I can figure it out today, but... Don't forget Choplifter 3. It, it's Rescue right. and survive. Super Bowling. Super Punch Out. Tetris and Dr. Mario. I just love the boxes on SNES games, man. What is this? The Combat the, the Tribes. The Combat Tribes. I've never played that. It's like knockoff Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, then there's oh, Street Super Fighter. Street Fighter and Street Fighter 2. That's cool stuff. Oh my stuff. goodness, now we're getting to those. Oh. oh. Okay, so there's some good games Kirby's here. Kirby's Dream Course, Mortal um, Kombat 2. I think this one, this one is a really tough one to find. Yes. Sink or swim. Almost impossible to find a great condition box. Like this box has some wear, but just just having it at all. I don't know if this was a rental exclusive or what, but it, you just don't see it. I, that might be the first time I've ever seen it in the box. All right. So that's pretty cool. We'll, we'll clear this top row and then we'll get to the bottom row of glory. All right, well this is the bottom row and it is glorious. There, okay. There's some wonderful games that I stink and love. You'll notice Mario RPG at Turtles in Time. Two absolute greats. This Mario RPG looks so clean, man. Awesome timing to get this game complete in the box with the new one just coming out. Zombies Ate My Neighbors is a goofy one, but it is actually quite fun. Jumping around on a trampoline and such. Eating your neighbors. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Some of the most valuable ones actually of the entire collection. You've got Super Bonk. That's cool. Which is crazy. Pretty much anything Bonk is a bolo, is that correct? Correct. And then R-Type 3. The, the last sold in similar condition on this was like 900 bucks. That is just like a crazy uncommon game and this thing looks unbelievably clean. So that is amazing to see. And then I have to give a shout out every time I see Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3, 2 being my favorite. These games are phenomenal. And if you need a good co-op game, these are, these are the ones to play. Uh, and, and we can't pass up Super Metroid. It, it is a It is an absolutely great game. Brother Dave, one of his favorites. And there's a lot of other good ones in here. Super Nintendo has an amazing library and let this us know what your chunk. favorite Super Nintendo game is in the yeah. comments. Yeah, comment down below. I'd love to see what kind of mix we have in there. <laughs> Another one. Did it say big N64? I I don't know, but it is, seems to be irrelevant. Blue, berry, system, brown, and N64. Dark. I don't know. What is it? <clears throat> oh, these are the brand new oh, Xbox 360 cool. controllers. Purple. That's the most expensive out of the bunch. That's almost $200, right? Wow, that sounds about right. I mean, they're- well, There's the chrome blue. They're super cool and hard to find. And new condition, of course. Fortnite. Fortnite. Fortnite! Does it come with a battle Fortnite. pass? Fortnite! And then we have one more. Nice. Whoa! That's just good old, good old classic silver chrome right there. Cool. And then, Matt, you wanna take care of this? <laughs> it's Sega Genesis time. I think. It says Sega Genesis on the <laughs> box, but... Sometimes the labels are just irrelevant. We All have right. like some kind of random like $1,500 item that we haven't seen yet, right? I don't know. I don't think so. Next box. Look at that. <gasps> Jimmy Neutron, Spongebob, Nicktoons okay, Collection. Okay, moving on. Matt, it's moving our favorite. On. Shrek. <laughs> GameCube and... Death Smiles. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> more, more, more. Onward. We have ooh, Halo Xbox, oh. the version of the controller that actually has Halo on the little center thing. The green Halo Xbox, that is a glorious system, glorious color. You gotta love it. So that looks like cords, controller. $400 in this system. condition? Like it that? might be in that range. They're, they're very hard to find. They didn't, they didn't, Sell that many of them. But Dwight had five. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, there you go, the Sega Genesis Flashback. Now this is actually a great HD system, and I love it because you, you can play the original software in there too. Why didn't NES Classic and SNES Classic do this? I don't know. It's not that hard. Missed opportunity. Big missed opportunity. But Nintendo's also lazy. Well, you know, Sega does. What Nintendo? For the record, that was good. I am a Nintendo fan all the way, but also gotta realize what Sega has done. Bitta. More, more plug and play TVs. Let's see what we paid for this. So you got two Sega Genesis ones. You got like some random Bejeweled, Miss Pac-Man, Star Wars, another Pac-Man and Bejeweled. And I paid. Other side. 40 bucks. That's a good deal, I think. Speaking of Sega. Oh man. How about this box of Sega? Oh goodness gracious. This is a ridiculous box. 
These are the Sega games that you dream of seeing that you just never do. Look at that. McDonald's Treasureland Adventure. Uh, that's a bummer on the manual. Looks like it's just missing but, the covers. Hey, but Chase, we got another one. That's right. But they'll see that at the end. It was like over $13,000 in value. Yeah, right uh, behind me is another table that's like equal to this. <laughs> pretty good stuff. Rock and roll racing. Whoa. Uh, very uncommon. This also, there's a SNES version of this. Um, the Flintstones, I think this one is like over $200. It's a Taito game. It's Man. one, again, that you just don't see. And it is complete. Got War Song. Whew, that's clean. Love that. So, Crusader of Sentinels. This is a, a holy grail for Sega Genesis. But, everything here, I think, everything here except for the cartridge is fake. Mm. Is reproduction. So, the cartridge is authentic. If this was original and complete... The case looks good, though. The case looks good. I, I am... We'll have to double check our list. He, he entered it as cartridge only. The manual is not legit. You can kind of see that pretty quickly. It's got the wrong glossiness to it. The quality is a little low, and obviously when you open it, the print's really bad, and the paper's different. That case, though. We'll have to double check. We'll, we'll double check. I don't think it's legit, but even this cartridge... What? Pushing $500? I can't remember. Three to 500 Somewhere in that range. Which is which is insane. It's an unbelievably rare game. But if you're talking uh, Holy Grail Genesis games, we have probably a more known Grail. Right there. Whew. Musha. Sega Genesis. That is original and authentic, I will say. It has some waviness to the cover art, like some water damage or something got to it. But everything there is original and authentic. The cartridge looks great. These are highly um, faked, and this one here is definitely legit. So that is about a $900 game. I would say if the cover art was like minty, it would probably be over a thousand. Um, but I, I gotta be on the conservative end with that condition, I'll actually put it back in this. Renovation, if you see renovation in Sega, that is something that you always, if you, I mean, if you see it out in the wild for cheap, just pick it up and do the research later. But almost all renovation games are desirable. They're early uh, in most cases, and they have a lot of value. Elemental Master, the Punisher, that manual doesn't look legit. Cartridge is beat up. Cover is sun faded, but still a good one. Dune, uh, here's another renovation game, Ernest Evans. And that is a, uh, and the good thing with Dwight is that anytime something is not original, he acknowledged that in the price charting. So he would have entered this as box in game only because that manual is a reproduction. But Mutant League Hockey, Ooh. fully complete, <clears throat> got manual, other paperwork, and looks beautiful. And that is a 100 pluser. He has a 100 pluser, and it's, it's kind of a popular one too. Um, Master of Monsters, it's just so cool to see. Buck Rogers. Crackdown, Shadowrun, another title game, Sagaya. So now here's more of the normal stuff that you see most of the time. The Maddens and the Pac-Mans and Tailspin. And but still, you got like Toki and Chakan in there. Mm-hmm. There's still a couple good ones, you know. There's Batman, there's wrestling. Sega was really popular for their sports games, and they definitely had some good sports games for the time. Let's see what's in here in its own box. Oh, well, that's cool. So the Mega Man Wily Wars Collector's Edition. Hmm. Very nice. So that's a later later release. Um, let's see, Mega Man official Sega Genesis recase. So that is that's legit. So that was a beautiful box of Sega. We've got a few more boxes to go, guys. This collection is is ridiculous. So I'm hoping after you watch this video, you'll be coming to the auction. Uh, it's from noon to midnight Eastern, December first on whatnot. We'll link that below. We're probably running as you're watching this. And we'll have coupons there for you too. We will, those will be in the description as well. So check those out, come hang with us. If you've never done Whatnot, get your $15 credit. The way we do Whatnot is very fun, very engaging. We'd love hanging out with you guys. Everybody that comes has a great time. People are taking work off for this event. That's bizarre. It's, it is it's multiple so people, insane. multiple yeah. people, <laughs> because it's gonna be a blast and there's gonna be amazing items, lots of deals, tons of giveaways. Give whatnot a chance if you're coming to our show, that's all I'll say. All right, this is a giant box full of sealed Xbox 360. There are 360 games, there's some original Xbox in there too. Nothing too crazy, so we're just gonna move on because I'm looking at a box full of complete in box NES games. NES. 
So we didn't even know that we were getting any NES in this purchase. Like Until the drive there. Yeah, we are like, oh gosh, there's NES that we're getting. So oh, a couple gosh. Monopolies. Th this is probably one of my favorite NES games. Yeah, played that with your dad? Yes. Very nice. We had to leave the console on overnight in order to beat it though. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's old school right there. TMNT, there's the first one. There's the second one. And there's the third one. Man. The one, two, three punch. You got Metroid, I love this box. The classic series yellow box. The Castlevania. So we have one and three. Oh, we couldn't do the one, two, three. Do we, we gotta have the second one. I bet it's, it's in be here somewhere. somewhere. We got Kid Cool, some random uncommon stuff. Totally rad of the same variety. And then let's see what's in the second row, but we can't skip over these three. DuckTales, Bartletoads, and Mega Man 4. And the second row, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Orange bullets. If you ever find one with white bullets, that is like the first print, and it's extremely hard to find. So be on the lookout. This is an uncommon one, North and South. Very nice to find complete in box. There's lots of classic. It's just a classic NES box The Little box Mermaid, right here. Ninja Gaiden, A Boy in His Blob, Plax Tiny Toon, Kirby's Adventure. Ninja Gaiden, yeah. I mean, this is this glorious classic NES stuff what right is here. Dream Master? Pick that one up. Dream Master. You, you'll recognize this. Oh, okay. Yep. Little Nemo. Little Nemo's Dream Master. Commando. I love the art that has like the retro wave. Capcom like, baby. In the back. Yeah, the Capcom boxes are awesome. All right, let's move on. We still got these couple stacks of boxes. This collection is ridiculous. All right, we're gonna go rapid fire, go through a bunch of these boxes right in a row. We got two PS1 classics in here, both of them brand spanking new. These are cool, the Pokemon Battle E cards. We couldn't really find much on these. I paid 75 a piece on them. Probably overpaid a little bit, but I think it's like a good deal. And then we have a whole box oh full of cartridges goodness. for N64, including Conker's Bad Fur Day. Uh, let's see what's in here. Starcraft 64, <gasps> how about two with the manuals? My goodness. Goodness gracious. Not disappointed. Uh, let's pull out five random cartridges just to see. 1080, Perfect Dark, Mission Impossible, New Tetris, and Battle for Naboo. And then everything else that's in there. More of those, paid 20 bucks for the whole box. I think it's just those two, actually. So 10 bucks a piece. Um, then more plug and plays. Pac-Man and something else. OG Xbox games, because why not? Oh, Futurama. Well, there's Futurama, <laughs> no sleeper, Predator, uh, Call of Cthulhu. Alien? Cthulhu? It's Cthulhu. Cthulhu? <laughs> Aliens vs. Predator and Sixion Manhunt. Some good ones, definitely some solid OG Xbox games. And then you've got more SNES. Oh my goodness, and we. Yeah. Buster Bust Loose, Lost Dimension. That Lemmings, cool. The Lion King. Clue. Clue. Wow, what a great game. <laughs> That's fake. Yeah, fake Ruby Box. Bad. Matt, here you go. The manual's in there is real though, Matt. Yeah, the manual's real. Don't break it. And then these are all open, but still kind of cool. Bummer. Uh, that one's there. And it's down there. There's a Bioshock sealed. Next up we have, ooh, I love these. The Nintendo watches. Yeah, you gotta keep these. Oh yes, those are neat. Those are going in the collection. There's a Qbert one and a, what is that, Mario? And hit a like button for Dwight's obsession with uh, never letting batteries corrode inside of things. He found a <laughs> clever way to open this and get the battery out because he knew he'd be storing it on the shelf for a long time and didn't want it to break. And he did that with like consoles that had batteries, everything. We also have, what is in here? Oh, it's another one of those Sega things, HD consoles. Oh, everything's getting, okay. There we go, NES, these are clean. Joe and Mac, Mario Bros, Mario 2, 3, Krusty's Funhouse, Palomies, two Batmans, Dr. Mario, fantastic. Uh, let's see, this has a N64 smoke gray. Then we have a Neo Geo X Gold Mega Pack. That's pretty cool. It's brand new. It's like a compilation pack of a bunch of Neo Geo games. It's still, I think it's still worth like 600 bucks though. Man. It's a pretty sought after one. I could be wrong on, on the value, but. Sega Genesis, Call Sega Genesis Disney. Model 3. And then you've got more plug and plays. We only paid for this box 25 bucks. It's three of the Pac-Man. SNES and Xbox, what the heck is this? Why not? Yeah, it's all good Xbox games and SNES games. Like, Hook. UN Squadron, Super Mario Kart, Mario All-Stars. Good the lost, classic the lost stuff. Vikings? Yeah, Star Fox. Or NES. More complete. It just keeps coming, guys. God, Super C, Willow, Chessmaster, Blue. Ooh, what is that? That is a cool box, man. Whoa. The Mutant Virus. Crisis. And a 
Uh, I love that box. Computer that world. So awesome. I don't know if I've ever seen that box, which is crazy. You got Yonoid. Is that the Pizza Hut guy? What? What's his? No, that's the uh, Papa um, John's guy. Dude, very uncommon. What? <laughs> Darkwing ducks. That's ridiculous. I'm just throwing it to the side. Look at these. These are cool. These little uh, mini uh, Nintendo mini classics. The Yu-Gi-Oh one, pretty pretty darn hard to find. So and then weird. Mario Cement Factory and Parachute, which is the tougher one. And a few more Cement Factories down in there. And we still have yet to show everything else that was not part of the original $20,000 deal. $20, deal. Everything you saw there, it was about $21,200 because we, we paid $1,200 above the $20,000 for everything that you saw there. And I'm looking at everything else and we'll show you guys right now. I'm getting a top-down shot of this because this is just... Here we have it. So Alpel just did the numbers. We agreed on percentages ahead of time. I think we came to right about 7,300 for everything that you see here. Lots of games. Xbox, NES, Sega, some really nice Sega games, which he wasn't sure if he was going to sell or not, but he ended up having a lot that he was willing to sell, including some beautiful renovation games. The other McDonald's is down there. there. Yeah, like crazy ones, 50 to 100 here, and maybe even more just because the condition is ridiculous on this stuff. You've got a sealed PS1 Slim, the Vader Edition completed in box, so the black Atari 2600, his original Sega Genesis, matching serial number, everything, beautiful, fully complete, beautiful, Fully complete PS1 systems, turbo graphics, that one has some wear, but still in the box. Mashing serial NES top loader, very, very rare, very hard to find. Brand new Mario Kart, just chilling. <laughs> just chilling behind there. There's more Fantastics, there's a Jungle Green and an Ice Blue oh, in yes. there. And yes, then, good point. Ton of Game Genie stuff, there's an OG Xbox, this is a Project Scorpio Xbox. Oh yeah, that's, that's brand, brand new. new. It's ridiculous, and we I gotta show you these over here. We'll sneak over there and show you. <laughs> And here are some of the other highlights. And yes, it's wedged between a couple other collections that we just, it's been crazy around here. But these, Coleco tabletop games, all of them work, so cool. Modeled after actual arcade cabinets. I love them, they're great. Probably all those will be for sale if I let them go, I'm still undecided. They look good on those shelves, man. I know, I'm thinking about keeping them. I might keep them, I don't know. You'll see. Uh, if you're watching this day one, Friday, December 1st, come hang with us on the auction. It's happening right now. Otherwise, check out the last time we bought $100,000 worth of games from Minty Doy, the man himself with this collection. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.